The Pope has received members of the Madrid Bevo Foundation, created and organized by Spanish entrepreneurs to collaborate on planning World Youth Day Madrid 2011. The foundation was started with the goal of addressing moral causes of the economic crisis by promoting a society not only based on consumption. Benedict XVI asked them to continue collaborating in the World Youth Day because it is not just about a multitudinous gathering, but also a privileged occasion in which youths from all over the world allow themselves to be conquered by the love of Jesus. Son muchos los jóvenes que tienen puestos sus ojos en esa hermosa ciudad con el gozo de poder encontrarse en ella dentro de pocos meses para escuchar juntos la palabra de Cristo, siempre joven, y poder compartir la fe que los une y el deseo que tiene de construir un mundo mejor inspirados en los valores del Evangelio. The foundation through the president of the Spanish bishops, Cardinal Rocco Varela, thanked the Pope for his closeness and enthusiasm, and he told them that he can trust in them in an unconditional way. I believe that the message from the Pope has been very clear. One, the importance of youth and the hope that the youth wait with for World Youth Day. And two, since Madrid is a host city and that it is also going to make everything available. The Madrid Bibo Foundation is making a serious effort and in a professional way by hosting the Pope in Madrid, Spain, and for that reason, we have organized this visit with the participation of several Spanish businesses. I think it's an important opportunity for us to have sponsors who contribute money, in cash or goods and services, for the implementation and success of the event. And I really believe that this contribution gives us lots of satisfaction because I believe we contribute in some way to make the world better. Registration for World Youth Day is now open and the Pope was the first to sign up. Currently, some 600,000 youths have announced their intentions to register. The numbers vary according to the country they come from, and this year, visitors can also donate money to a solidarity fund for pilgrims from poor countries.